I feel like seriously like quitting YouTube. But you understand you're dealing with like actual viewers, right? Real people. Hi, uh, my name is Victoria Rose and it's been a, a while on my standards since I've uploaded. I want to tell you why and I also wanted to preface what this video is going to be. So by the title, it sounds bad. I know. It's honestly how I've been feeling lately with things and it's not even just YouTube that's been frustrating lately. There's been other things too. I've made YouTube videos for like two, three years now. I love doing it. I love visual art. I love talking with you guys. I love all aspects of video making. I like sharing my life and my experiences in life and my um, creative works. I really like all of that. Uh, I got to a point where I made YouTube my job to where I needed to make enough money from it. And I know that's not really a good idea, but I have a really hard time with normal nine to fives. This is a, so this video is going to be very just real and raw, okay? I'm not like BSing things, I'm not trying to be somebody, I'm not trying to entertain. I'm just showing you that there's times, and lately it's just been kind of difficult. This is just another side, this is just another real thing, and I know lately I haven't been very like happy, but people can't be happy all the time, and that's unrealistic to think. I've been dealing with things, and I'm going to keep going. I have more videos filmed and stuff. It's just the video that's coming up after this, I was really discouraged, especially I think after I uploaded my last video, just the vi my videos have been doing really bad and it's plain to see. I don't know if it's because of the algorithm or because my content's not consistent enough or just there's probably a variety of factors. I'm just scared whenever I upload a video. I don't know, it's hard to describe what it's like being an influencer or YouTuber if you haven't really like been in it or done it because Sometimes you do base your value on views and comments and likes and blah, blah, blah. I don't mean to be negative. I don't mean this to be a negative video. I'm not quitting YouTube. Sometimes lately I have wanted to, which is very rare because in the last three years I've never thought that. There's just so many things that I want to show you guys, but I'm not trendy enough. Um, story of my life though, it's like not trendy enough, not like relevant, not like rich enough, not fake enough. I mean, I've met a lot of YouTubers, guys. Um, just not like everybody else. And I don't know where I fit in with YouTube and in life, I don't fit in. And it gets frustrating sometimes. This was just a conversation with my friends because I was just really, really, really discouraged. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there for you guys to watch because I do wanna bring real things to you. I don't want to just be overly enthusiastic and blah, happy all the time because I'm not. This is the human experience and the human journey that I want to bring to you. I hope you guys don't hate me for that. I just want to be open with you guys because it feels like whenever I'm open with you guys is whenever you're the most understanding and loving. I know a lot of people are going to say, take a break, and it's not, that's just not how YouTube works. You get forgotten, it's a very cutthroat type of thing, like social media in general is very shallow. I'm going to show you guys this clip right now and then I'm going to end the video get angry and you're gonna blame and then you're gonna it's not gonna get shit. I, it's like you talking and you're trying to be engaging and you're talking you are. Yeah, I mean I change in a way that's like, hey guys, it's Victoria Victoria Rose here. Yeah. But like with this camera right here, it doesn't change anything. But People would be surprised how much you change for your videos actually. I know. I think it's very point and shoot but it's not. No, the, the thing is for my videos is I put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, more than people notice. Like, I know they don't understand it and they're like, that's not a real job, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, thinking of everything. It is a real job, yeah. It's doing what? it, and then uploading <coughs> it for everyone to critique is like, exhausting. I saw that. What? For a long time, like, about, like, creative works when it's, oh, it's fucking easy. Mm -hmm. There was, like, so much mental, like, time and thought, and it's just really difficult it to push it out. It consumes your entire life. Yeah. And it drives you insane. Like right now, I'm like nauseous. What happened to you like planning? Have you done that? Did you plan out like a, a I, like format I, or I a mentally, thing? Or like, like I mentally can't do it. I I try like I'm at a loss now. 
warm. Because I know whatever I put out won't get any views. You don't know that though. No, I do. So we tried everything. We tried. What sort of tr things that are? We tried things that are radically different. Have you tried everything nice? You can't say that. Like, what is there even to do? I I have tried everything I can do that I would be wanting to do consistently, but nobody stays or wants to watch. It doesn't get shown to people. Things you've managed to get your platform, but you through collaborations with people. Yeah, exactly. You haven't understood the other work that lots of other people go through to try and get there and all the other things they try and do to get there and boost themselves like they might make really good content but they don't have, they never seem to get the platform right right like there's some people that try really hard on like the back end of it and then some people just manage to get it somehow right what yeah what am i doing wrong well maybe it's just got to the stage where you can't rely upon that rely upon what you can't rely just upon your platform's engagement you no i i don't like i been having the back end stuff done too. But maybe not appropriately. I can't say. I don't know. But don't think like it's a failure because you haven't tried everything. If that was the case then it would be I feel like seriously like the last couple weeks just feel like just quitting YouTube. But you understand you're dealing with like actual viewers, right? Real people. Like regardless of like you're in this thing where then the algorithm and all that stuff. Regardless of that, like if you manage to get people to watch your videos and retain them, people will come back. Like you said before, you don't need a big place, you should be the strongest. If I'm not being successful, I just feel like I'm just, I'm putting myself out there and I'm just failing. How and people successful? and everyone sees it and everyone sees me just failing. No, you don't. Yeah. That's yeah, the silly thing. Thank you for watching that. I know it's probably hard to hear, but I love my loyals you guys have been like buying merch and I really appreciate that. Um, thank you for sticking around through like thick and thin because there's been a lot of thin and thick. <laughs> Everything's fine, like you guys don't need to worry. I just, you know, everyone has their off times. We're still in this journey together. Make sure you get a, a like and a subscribe and don't read too much into this and, and I don't need advice or anything like that I just well and if, if you have like some good crit criticism I understand but if it's just critiquing me more like I just I don't, I don't want to. I don't know whatever you guys do what you do stay extraterrestrial we gotta stay extraterrestrial with each other can you leave some comments I really want to talk to you guys I miss you it's been too long I'm really sorry about that